As long as I've lived on this earth, I've never known true suffering until I took organic chemistry. They say it's a weed out course. I say it's a soul crushing course. Because by the end of the semester, my soul was absolutely weeded, plucked, uprooted, it was compost. Now, I know there's some people out there that think the class isn't too bad. And this is my response. That's fair for organic chemistry one. But for orgo two, you're either lying to me, yourself, or you were put on this earth purely to do orgo. I, myself, was not put on the earth for that. Let me paint a picture for you. It's the first day of class. The professor walks in holding a massive textbook with 1300 pages and the first thing he says is, most of you will not survive. And I laughed because I thought he was joking, but it turns out he somehow wasn't. An analogy I'd like to make is that organic chemistry is like playing 4D chess against hallucination. Every molecule has its own aspects and special properties for reactions, SN1, SN2, E1, E2, they all play by different rules. I don't know, I just drew some arrows and hope the electrons understood kind of what I meant to do. Another thing I realized is you don't study for organic chemistry. You negotiate with it. You say, hey, I'll memorize chair conformations if you give me back one hour of sleep. And Orgo goes, no deal. Also, you failed that quiz you didn't know existed last week. Don't get me started on the labs, which somehow is the easiest part of the course for me. Ever tried recrystallizing a compound that refuses to crystallize because there's 1% too much impurity in it? Yeah, that was me, sitting there for 90 minutes watching a sad beaker of failure while my TA said, you probably did something wrong. Oh, cool, thanks. Yeah, that's super helpful. I didn't know that. But perhaps the worst part is how some people in the class were just fine. Oh, this test was easy. It was just a multi-step synthesis with three chiral centers and one retro at all. Okay, Jonathan, go cure cancer or something. The rest of us are going to be crying into our NMR spectra sheets. By finals week, I was a husk of a person. I stopped referring to myself by name and started identifying as a carbon-based life form held together by sheer anxiety. Sleep? Gone. Confidence? Non-existent. Understanding, theoretically possible, but not experimentally verified. I really do consider myself good at STEM, but for some reason this class just really clashed with my way of thinking and I couldn't get through it very well at all. And after all that, after the quizzes, labs, and the 4am mental breakdowns over resonance structures, I passed. Barely. And you know what? That counts. I emerged from the chemical trenches with a thousand yard stare and an unshakable fear of hexagons, just in time to move on to organic chemistry too. So if you're currently in organic chemistry, my thoughts are with you. If you're considering taking it, don't unless you really have to. Just go touch grass. It's cheaper and won't make you question your existence. Anyway, like and subscribe. My serotonin depends on it. See you next week where I talk about another class that really had me question my life choices. See ya.